an endangered deer with vampire-like fangs was spotted for the first time in nearly 60 years in a remote forest in northeastern Afghanistan. The faint creature is known as the Kashmir musk deer and it's native to the Himalayas of northern India, Pakistan's Kashmir region, and northern Afghanistan. Now only the male deer have these fangs and they use them during mating season to compete for females. A team of researchers scoured Afghanistan's Nuristan province during 2008 and 2009 and recorded five sightings of this animal. This was the first time the species had been spotted since 1948. The sightings were described in this month's edition of the journal Onyx. During the survey, the researchers spotted a single male cashmere musk deer near to the same area three separate times. The researchers also recorded one female and her baby and saw a second single female that they think may have been the same deer without her baby. The researchers also found the carcass of a poached female deer. Now these musk deer are classified as an endangered species on the International Union for Conservation of Nature's Red List. Musk deer meat is a local delicacy, but the species is mostly hunted for its scent glands that are more valuable by weight than gold. Some believe the glands have pharmaceutical properties and they sell for nearly $20,455 per pound. Now that's $45,000 per kilometer on the black market according to the International Union for Conservation of Nature. Three decades of war have ravaged the Nuristan province and the continued violence and political stability make the black market trade of scent glands uncontrollable. Furthermore, the species is quickly losing suitable habitat. Recent geological surveys of the area show that it has lost about 50% of its mountainous forests since the 1970s, according to the study. Peter Zaylor, Deputy Director of the Wildlife Conservation Society's Asia Program, says this rare species, along with better known wildlife, such as snow leopards are the natural heritage of the struggling nation. He continues, we hope that conditions will stabilize soon to allow WCS and local partners to better evaluate conservation needs of this species. All of the musk deer were spotted on sheltered rocky outcrops around 9,843 feet high. In the summer, they regularly track along steep slopes that make them almost impossible to approach and keep them relatively safe from hunters. However, heavy snowfall in the winter drives the species farther down to more human accessible slopes and hunters come from all over the country to stalk the deer for their valuable scent glands. Now, poaching isn't the only threat this rare Afghan species faces. Human development has fragmented the musk deer's habitat. They rely on the mountains, coniferous forests, but deforestation and human settlements are encroaching upon the species, vanishing home. Due to violence and unrest, non-governmental organizations like the Wildlife Conservation Society have not been able to operate in the nearest stand province since 2010. The WCS maintains contact with the locals they have trained to survey and search for the musk deer. Once the situation in Nuristan improves, the WCS intends to return to the area to continue research and to formulate a conservation plan.